everyone welcome to my channel this is Chrissy loves dolls and crafts nursery I'm Chrissy love and these two cute adorable little girls you know what I mean are my cabbage patch babies <laughs> Yes, these are my Cabbage Patch girls, you know. Oh my goodness. I bought them earlier this year, or I should say I adopted them earlier this year. And I did it for a reason, you know. Um, when I was growing up, you know, money was a little tight, you know what I'm saying? So I never got a chance to get a Cabbage Patch doll. And I always wanted one, you know. And years went by and stuff. And as I got older and stuff, I still wanted one, you know, as I got, you know, 9, 10, 11 and stuff. And then after that, you know, you get older or whatever and you grow up and, you know, life goes on and stuff like that. But I never forgot, you know, when I became an adult, I never forgot how much I wanted one as a kid. You know what I mean? So once I got really deep into this hobby, you know what I mean? Just of doll collecting in general, I had to get me my own Cabbage Patch Babies for real. <laughs> and here they are. So let's start with my cute little red hair, blue eyed baby. This is my beautiful girl, Ginger. And this is my beautiful girl, Autumn. Yes. So I named her Autumn because of this pretty hair she got, the color of her hair. And then Ginger, well, I think it's self-explanatory with this cute little red hair of hers. You know what I mean? But yes, these are my Cabbage Patch dolls. And I don't know too, too much about them. But I know that Ginger is more of the older school type of Cabbage Patch dolls. And then Autumn is, seems like she's more of the newer school version. You know, don't quote me on that. But just based on how they're made or how and how they look, that's what it seems like. You know what I mean? But I got them for a very good price off Macari, you know. And I want to, you know, show you guys their outfits and stuff. Yay, yeah, yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. <laughs> so let's check out Autumn. Look at her with her pretty green eyes and her little freckles. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and one of the things that attracted me to Autumn is her hair. Now, I don't know if she came like this, but it looked like her previous mommy did this cute little style on her hair and I just thought it was so sneaking cute that I was like oh my goodness I'm like I really have to buy her now because her hair is so cute but let's look at her little outfit so she got this cute little sweater on little red sweater you know what I mean with this little symbol right here and under the sweater she has this little um cute little blue shirt and then she has a cute little you know, skirt, you know what I mean? Looking like she ready to go to school. And her cute little, um, her little tennis shoes and stuff like that, you know. And then, of course, the bow to match, which I thought was so, so, so cute, you know. Let's see how she looks from the back. And this is her, her little hair and her little skirt and little bloomers. <laughs> Oh, Lord, she got some dust on the back of her. I didn't realize that because I had her sitting on my shelf. Oh, mommy got to dust you off, girl. Ooh, uh-uh, we ain't trying to have that. Oh, my goodness. Hey, yo, and I ain't going edit, to edit this out either, y'all. <laughs> hey, everything is what it is in my videos, okay? But, yeah, this is my beautiful autumn with these pretty green eyes i think cabbage patch babies are are just so adorable and they kind of remind me if you really want me to be honest they kind of remind me of a old school version of a cuddle baby okay and the reason why i say that because check it out they got the head right here and then they got the soft body you feel me you know what I'm saying? And then the soft legs and stuff. So this is kind of like an old school version of the cuddle baby. You know what I'm saying? You know? <laughs> With a little twist on it. Okay? So let's go to my beautiful 
Ginger Poo, yes. And I don't know if this is the dress that Ginger came in when she was adopted by her first mommy, but I just thought the dress was so cute and stuff. I think this is like a, a chevron pattern. Don't quote me on that, but I think it is, you know what I mean? And I just thought she was just so cute. Now, she reminds me of the Cabbage Patch babies that I used to want so bad when I was a kid. You know what I mean? Just her whole just look. You know what I mean? And then look at her. She just got the cute little dimple right there. <laughs> and this hair of hers with the little bows and stuff like that. And I just left them exactly the way they came because the previous mommy had them looking so nice. I was just like, oh, I don't need to do nothing to her. You know what I mean? So, yeah, she's very, very cute. And let's look on the back of her. I wonder if she got some dust on the back of her. Nah. Well, a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. You know what I mean? But she got her little bloomers <laughs> and her little dress and stuff like that. She's just the cutest thing. If I was, When I was a kid, I would have loved to have had her. You know what I mean? I would have loved to have them both. You know, but that's why this hobby is so amazing because you get a chance to, you know, get the things that you probably wasn't able to get when you was a kid. You know what I mean? Whether it's a Barbie doll or a Cabbage Patch doll or a baby doll, you know, this hobby helps you to, you know, I don't know, kind of cater to your inner child. You know what I mean? So every time I see these babies, it bring a smile to my face because, you know, that that kid in me, you know, I don't know. It's just like I satisfied that part inside of me, you know. So although I didn't get her, you know, or get either one of them as a child, I still was able to get, you know, get it to myself at some point in my life, which is now. And I'm just very happy about that. So anyway, <laughs> I'm going to cut this video short. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to like. Share and subscribe. <laughs> and I'll check you guys in the next video. Peace out.